I'm Derek Johnson with Tatango.com, and I'm answering the question, what is required in a help response text message? So first off, what is a help response text message? It's essentially what is returned to a consumer when they text the word help, H-E-L-P, to your short code. Short code is a five to six digit phone number that is used by a brand to communicate to consumers. So when someone texts help to a short code, a message is returned. The CTIA and the wireless carriers get together and they figure out what needs to be included in these type of messages. So for the help message, there's two things that need to be included based on the CTIA guidelines. This is first the brand name. So let's say Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut needs to be in the text message. And then second is a customer support uh, either phone number or email address. So this allows a consumer to text the word help, figure out who owns the short code, and then also figure out how they can get additional help, either by dialing a phone number or uh, clicking on an email and sending an email to the brand. So those are the two things that are required. What I usually recommend though is a few more things to make the customer experience even better. So uh, two things. One is I like putting in there not only the brand name, but then what are the kinds of text messages that they're receiving, uh, more information about the program. So it'd be something like Pizza Hut. Uh, this program is our mobile VIP club for weekly offers and promotions. Gives the consumer much more info about what uh, type of text messaging campaign uh, is being run on the short code. The second piece of information, which is not required, but I usually put in the text message to better the consumer experience, is I like to give instructions on how to opt out of the program. So if someone texts help in, they're trying to get help because maybe they want to opt out, then I like to make sure in my help message that it says the instructions on how to opt out because you never want somebody in your campaign that doesn't want to be part of your campaign. So usually at the bottom of the help message, I would put something along the lines of, you know, to unsubscribe, reply, stop, or to stop, reply, stop. Something along those lines. Just giving the consumer um, the instructions as to how they can opt out if they want to. So two things required by the CTIA. One is the brand name. Uh, two is the customer support email or phone number. It, it can be both, but it, it, um, it's only required to be either or. Uh, and then two things that are not required but I usually put in is more of a description of what the campaign is. Uh, that's the first part. And then second is the opt-out instructions. So hopefully that answers your question as to what is required in a help text message response.